how's it going? So we're back a couple of days later. So I've been working on the whole weekend. Um, now, like I said in my previous videos, we've lost power. We've still got no power now. So it's um, been a bit difficult. Um, now, my biggest issue was I had to... Oh, sorry, let me start again. The biggest issue was not uh, not having power to the house or the shed. It was actually having power to my um, the auxil auxiliary battery system or power system for the van here because I had to pull it, pull it all out. So it's a bit of a mess at the moment. I've had to um, wire it all back up on the bench. Now my battery went flat the other day. I don't know if I said that the other day. This um, lithium battery went flat the other day, so I had to wake it up using the jump pack, and it didn't look like it was working at first. It was dead flat. And, I mean, I think we're about 90% at the moment. It's been on there for a few hours, but look how overcast it is out here. It's not a lot of sun. So it's charging slowly. And, as I said before, because we've got no power to the house, I'm relying on sun to charge this and then the battery and inverter to charge my battery over there or the Ryobi battery charger luckily it's a fast charger and um, charges the batteries up pretty, pretty quick because if I didn't have that I wouldn't even be able to do any work so good thing I had reasonable charge and everything but yeah I'm going through it now yeah I had very little power on the phone and very little power on batteries last night so I didn't do a lot of recording but yeah I'll just do a quick walkthrough of what I've done I've done heaps so yeah just one moment all right so here we go um yeah I'm look I'm no chippy self-taught I mean none of this is perfect but um look it works and um, it's budget conscious, but it's nice and solid. Now, personally, I want to paint all this, but my wife likes the raw timber look like this, so I might just at least need to seal it. Now, yeah, don't look too closely, but I'm really happy with it. I made that cabin up the front there. Put our bags in, and then there's a little glove box in the middle. Shelf up the top. So what's happening back here is I'm just started work on bunk bed. So this is a kitchen wall here. Obviously it's been taken out because I had to get timber inside. Um, 650 out that way. And then there's another, or well you can see pretty much from here to here, be that piece of timber. And then a couple of pieces across. Um, what do you call them? Are they joists? Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, no timber guy. And then, that's basically a bunk. And then I'll make a small cabinet here. Off, like, one wall across the side. Small cabinet over the side that you access, obviously, from the bedside. And then that's my daughter's bunk there. Um, now see here from the bed level to the underside of the bed here is 400 mil so take into account the mattress there you have plenty of foot room I thought it was gonna be closer than it is but no there's plenty of room here so um, your feet can basically come up right up to here that's two meters I'm pretty sure is my space there I should remember this but from that headboard there here's two meters and then I mean under here in between the bed and here is approximately 300 and I mean you could tuck bags back here as well I don't know I haven't thought of that yet but yeah I'm just making the um bunk at the moment shouldn't take too long the only restricting factor would be running out of power in my batteries going well so far one charge in basically three days. Anyway, 
there it is. Lots of work done, not a lot of videoing, but hey, progress, progress, progress. Like and subscribe, make a comment, catch a